Welcome to the Contractor Success Map Podcast. I'm your host, Bradley Hart, and I'm an expert on how you can get the most out of your contracting company. The reason I designed this show is to help you turn your contracting company from a people-dependent money pit into a process-dependent cash cow to have the freedom you dreamed of when you started your business. Every Friday, we're releasing podcasts and information to help you get the most out of your contracting company. Be sure to join us at www.contractorsuccessmap.com and subscribe to receive our latest articles and special offers. And the best part, it's all free, just for you. Hello everyone, Norhalma here once again, welcoming our subscribers and podcast listeners. If you're new here, thank you for giving us a chance to share insightful marketing, accounting, and production tips and strategies for your construction business. It's episode 503, and today, Sherry DeHart discussed how to prevent your construction company's yearly cycle of chaos. Let's get into it. The year is almost over. Fourth quarter and year-end deadlines are approaching. Most construction business owners who reach out to us describe this as their year-end madness to prepare their documents for the tax accountant. The end of the year tends to be chaotic for construction company owners, but it's an excellent time to get some extra housekeeping done for your business. If you're on QuickBooks, you can click the Help menu, depending on the year and version you're using. You can access the Year End Guide, which will show you how to wrap up your business year. It's not an easy process, but it's all worth it. Why? Because tax preparers will take what you give them. They don't have the time, and it's much work that you've paid for, but a good tax preparer will know how much you can save if you can track your money. Bottom line, pay your taxes right, but it doesn't have to be more than what you owe. Since you have a few weeks left for December statements, ensure everything from November back to January 1st is reconciled. Here are also a few things to catch up on. First, Review your goals and key performance indicators. A lot has likely happened for your construction business over the previous 11 months. The end of the year is the perfect time to look back and see how your performance is stacked against your goals. Consider your KPIs and review how you did. Be honest with yourself. If you didn't make your goals, that's okay. Now, you can look at what went wrong or right and adjust accordingly. Were there surprises that affect your business? Could you be or could you prepare more for slower times? Did you take on too much all at once? If you met or exceeded your goals, take some time to celebrate the achievements. Second, review your business plan. Seeing how reality compares to your original business plan is always surprising. Allow yourself to evaluate how you're doing and see if your construction business is becoming what you hoped it would. If it isn't, ask yourself if your goals and vision have changed or if you haven't been focused enough on them. It's okay to adapt your dream as your business evolves and you understand the market better but make sure the change is one you intend to make, not one that's happened unconsciously. Third, reconcile accounts receivable. Unpaid invoices are often one of the biggest disruptors to cash flow. Check if you have any outstanding accounts and remind those clients to settle before the year ends. It also doesn't hurt to double check if you have any amounts owing to your suppliers and pay those. Fourth, catch up on expenses. This is especially important if the end of the calendar year also marks the end of the tax year in your location. As I would like to remind our readers from outside North America, 
but it's a good practice for anyone. Ensure you've, you've accounted for any eligible business expenses by year's end to stay up to date for tax season. Fifth, verify vendor or client information. You already know that your business has changed for the year. The same is true for all the other companies that you work with. Take some time to ensure you have the correct information and are aware of any changes to their business terms. Sixth, review subscriptions. It's easy to let subscriptions fly under the radar, but they quickly add up. Review your active subscriptions and cancel any that aren't relevant anymore. It's easy to get more money in your pocket. And it's fun to choose some new ones for the new year that better meet your needs. Seventh, send out year-end letters. Put together a year-end letter for customers or clients and another for employees. Let your clients know what you've been up to over the year. Share some of your milestones and let them know how much you appreciate their business. Highlight any community events that your business was a part of. It's an excellent way to stay in touch and keep yourself fresh in their mind for when they may need your services in the new year. Thank your employees for all their hard work over the year. Call attention to your successes and celebrate all that you've achieved. It's a great way to provide recognition and highlight the most important events of the year. And last but not least, consider end-of-year gifts or bonuses. The end of the year is a terrific time to reward employees for a job well done. Even if you have an established bonus program, it's always nice to surprise employees with a gift. It's a personal way to say thank you and tell them how much you appreciate them. Final thoughts. The end of the year is notoriously busy and the holidays make it even harder to get things done. However, it's a great time to reflect on and celebrate your accomplishments. You'll be glad you did when the new year rolls around and you feel like you've wrapped a year up in a bow ready to take on the next one with a sense of renewal. If you are still asking yourself the $64,000 questions, like what about this and that? Have I met my goals for this year? What should I do for the balance of this year? What are my plans for the start of next year? Should I start now? Should I wait? I can't decide. It is time to start fixing those loose ends now. The reports are only as good as the data received. Contact me to discuss your needs. If you don't know the answers, tell me as much as you can and I will do my best to fill in the blanks. And that ends Sherry's blog post. Remember, we can help a little or a lot depending on your needs. If you're confused about which product to purchase or what services to outsource, Please don't hesitate to contact Sherry by calling our toll-free number at 1-800-361-1770. That's direct access to her. You can leave a voicemail if in case it's busy or it goes straight to her inbox. Uh, you can just leave your name, don't forget your company name, and of course your number or where she can call you back. You can ask her anything by sending her an email as well. You can send it to Sherry, S-H-A-R-I-E, Sherry at FastEasyAccounting.com. And of course, for our uh, dear listeners and podcast subscribers, if you missed our Black Friday deal, I still have the Podcast 20 coupon for you. It's P-O-D-C-A-S-T-2-0. Podcast 20. It's 20% 20 discount that you can use to buy our fast, easy accounting bookkeeping templates in our store. That's fasteasyaccountingstore.com. And you can enroll 
for a 20% discount in our any of our construction accounting classes at our constructionaccountingacademy.com website. Again, that's podcast 20, P-O-D-C-A-S-T-2-0. On behalf of Sherry and our team at Fast Easy Accounting, this is Nora Halma. Thank you all for listening. Stay safe and healthy. And stay tuned for upcoming episodes on how to turn your contracting company into a process-dependent cash cow. Bye for now. Thanks for tuning in. You're listening to the Contractor Success Map. If you enjoyed the show, please leave a five-star rating and review here on iTunes. And make sure to head over to www.contractorsuccessmap.com to subscribe to receive the latest articles and special offers. If you'd like to discuss your business strategy, simply click on the button labeled Strategy Session. And the best part, it's all free just for you.